scientist reveals the most terrifying black hole in the universe. The supermassive black hole that sits at the heart of our own Milky Way galaxy has now been given a first ever photograph by astronomers. This result gives clear proof that the object is a black hole and sheds light on how these enormous objects, which are believed to be present at the center of most galaxies, function. But how astronomers captured this rare sight? Well, let's find out. Hey guys, welcome back to Beyond Unknown. Today, we will be taking a look at the most terrifying black hole in the universe. Make sure you stick around to the end of this video, because we have a lot to cover. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like today's video, because it helps us a long way. The supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy is known as Sagittarius A-star. In the direction of Sagittarius constellation, close to the Scorpius-Sagittarius boundary, the Milky Way central black hole is located 26,673.42 light years away from Earth. Due to a 25 magnitude extinction effect, Sagittarius A is invisible at optical wavelengths. Massive dust clouds in the spiral arms of the Milky Way block our view of the source. Radio and infrared wavelengths are the best for observing the galactic center. As dust and gas fall into the central black hole, they are burned to millions of degrees, which is how Sagittarius A star emits radio and infrared radiation. The supermassive black hole at the center of our own Milky Way galaxy has recently been depicted in a first photograph by astronomers. The long-awaited image provides a glimpse of the enormous object at the galactic nucleus. Prior to this discovery, astronomers had observed stars revolving around an invisible, dense, and huge object at the Milky Way center. This certainly suggested that the Sagittarius A star object is a black hole, and the recent photograph offers the first concrete visual proof of it. Although the black hole itself is invisible to humans due to its total darkness, blazing gas around it shows a distinctive signature, a bright ring-like structure bordered by a dark center region known as a shadow. The new image shows light being distorted by the black hole's strong gravity, which is 4 million times stronger than the Sun. Its relatively small emission makes the black hole stand out. Without its proximity, its bolometric luminosity, which is only approximately 100 times that of the Sun, would make it impossible to find. There may be a reason for the Sagittarius A star comparatively weak emissions, according to observations made in 2019 using NASA's Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy, or SOFIA. They discovered that Sagittarius A star of dust and gas flows into an orbit around the black hole as a result of magnetic forces. Black hole emissions are kept to a minimum because some stuff falls into the black hole while other material is diverted away from it. In 1954, John D. Krauss, Xian Ching Ko, and Sean Matt of Ohio State University identified all the radio sources they had discovered in the sky and classified them by constellation. They gave each source a name, and Sagittarius A was one of them. The Archer, Sagittarius's brightest radio source, was designated by the letter A. Robert L. Brown added the asterisk, which is pronounced star, in 1982 because the source was seen to be exciting. This is a reference to the naming scheme for the excited state atoms, which are designated by an asterisk to indicate their excited state. The Very Large Array, or VLA, had provided Brown and his team with a high-resolution picture of the galactic center, and they were able to determine that a compact, non-thermal radio object was the source of the galaxy's highest radio emission. The EHT team connected eight radio observatories at six locations throughout the world to create a single virtual telescope in order to photograph Sagittarius A star. The EHT collaboration included more than 300 researchers from 80 institutions throughout the world. The Center for Astrophysics, Harvard and Smithsonian, the Max Planck Institute for Radio Astronomy in Germany, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology Haystack Observatory, the National Astronomical Observatory of Japan, the Perimeter Institute for Theoretical Physics in Ontario, Canada, and Radboud University in the Netherlands are among the institutions that make up the EHT consortium. In April 2017, five nights were spent observing the Milky Way's central black hole. In the Astrophysical Journal letters, the observations were reported. Each observatory used high-speed recorders in 2017 to gather light data. These recorders could analyze massive volumes of data at rates of up to 4 gigabytes per second. Haystack Observatory created the recorders. 
data from the observatories recorded almost 4 petabytes or 4,000 terabytes. Hard disks containing the captured data were transported to Germany's Max Planck Institute for Radio Astronomy and Haystack Observatory for Processing. A supercomputer operated by the Max Planck Institute combined the data. Researchers are testing gravity theories, black hole models, and fundamental physics using the data gathered by the EHT team. Scientists now have an unrivaled understanding of the space-time surrounding supermassive black holes because to the high-precision measurements of the shadow and its ring. Second supermassive black hole to receive a direct photograph is Sagittarius A star. The supergiant elliptical galaxy Messier 87, or Virgo A, the biggest and second brightest galaxy in the Virgo cluster, contains a black hole that has been previously photographed by the Event Horizon Telescope. Additionally, in April 2017, data needed to create the EHT image were gathered. April 10, 2019 was the release of the first black hole image. Heino Falke of Radboud University is one of the EHT collaborations coordinators and presented the findings of the EHT observations. A billion suns worth of matter make up the black hole in M87. The Hawaiian word for it was Puwehi, which translates to the adorned, fathomless, dark creation. 53.5 million light years are required to travel to the galaxy M87. Despite the fact that Sagittarius A star and M87 star were imaged simultaneously, the data for the black hole in the Milky Way presented a bigger difficulty. Due to the radio radiation from the black hole, which fluctuates on the order of minutes, the processing took five years and the analysis proved challenging. As a result, the EHT team took tens of thousands of images of Sagittarius A star, and the final image was created by averaging all the pictures and highlighting elements in common. Despite being 1,500 times more massive and 2,000 times farther away than Sagittarius A star, M87's black hole, that's M87 star, has a comparable angular diameter. They resemble each other greatly in appearance. Theoretical astrophysics professor at the University of Amsterdam in the Netherlands and co-chair of the EHT Science Council, Sarah Markoff, said, This tells us that general relativity governs these objects up close, and any differences we see further away must be due to the differences in the material that surrounds the black holes. The stars around Sagittarius A star are known as S-stars, and their close orbits and fast speeds aid in determining the boundaries of the physical size of the Milky Way's central black hole. Stars that orbit Sagittarius A star at speeds that are significantly faster than those of any other stars in the Milky Way have been discovered through observations made with the Very Large Telescope in Chile and the Keck Telescope in Hawaii. One of these stars, marked S2 or S02, was seen revolving at a distance of less than 5,000 kilometers a second near Sagittarius A star. The mass and upper bounds on the radius of Sagittarius A star were both determined with the help of the star S2. It belongs to a cluster that is close to the black hole. It travels between 970 and 120 astronomical units from Sagittarius A star in an orbit with a period of 16.0518 years or 17 light hours. Although the star's orbital period is just slightly longer than Jupiter's around the Sun, the closest approach is not until the star is four times Neptune's distance from the Sun. The star's original mass is estimated by the European Southern Observatory to be 14 solar masses. S2, which has the spectral type B02V, most likely weighs between 10 and 15 solar masses. In May 2018, a group of scientists monitored the star as it drew near to the black hole. A star approaching a supermassive black hole should exhibit a relativistic redshift, according to Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity, which they set out to test. They discovered a mixture of gravitational and special relativistic redshift, which is in line with Einstein's hypothesis. S2 traveled at a speed of 7,650 kilometers a second, or about 3% the speed of light, when it came the closest to Sagittarius A star. And that ends our episode for today. We hope you enjoyed our video. Please subscribe and leave a comment down below. And thanks for watching.